Coming up on this edition of HDMI Test Bench, we're back in the workshop with an active optical cable manufactured by a company called PureFi. I'm here to tell you what it's all about and if it performs as advertised. Hey, how's it going home theater fans? My name is Todd with the home theater form, avnirvana.com, and today we have a relatively new HDMI cable on the bench. It's PureFi's Active Optical Cable. This is a fiber optic HDMI 2.1 8K ultra high speed cable that claims to pass 48 gigabits per second, which includes 8K at 60 hertz video and backwards compatibility with previous versions of HDMI. That includes HDMI 2.0 and HDMI 1.4. More than likely, AV equipment in your home falls in the 2.0 or 1.4 category, though if you've recently purchased the new AVR or TV, it probably does carry an HDMI 2.1 chipset on at least one of its HDMI ports. The cable also supports eARC or Enhanced Audio Return Channel, which means it can be run between a TV and a soundbar or an AVR, allowing you to stream movies direct to your TV and have the audio, including Dolby Atmos tracks, dumped to your soundbar or your receiver for playback. This particular cable model is sold in six different lengths on Amazon. Our test sample here is the 25 footer, which is technically designated as a 7.5 meter cable. And according to my measurements, the cable is true to length, landing just slightly longer than 25 feet. Now, given the price landing at 59 bucks and the relative length, this cable gives you a lot of performance for the dollar on paper. Here's a look at pricing for other lengths within this cable series. You can see there, 49 bucks for 15 feet and just $199 for 100 feet. Right, these cables are really easy on the wallet. Now, it arrives in this eco-friendly box. You can see the recycle symbol right there, and I appreciate that most of the included packaging materials are not only recyclable, but paper-based. Uh, you also get three cable ties, which always come in handy. Running with our recommendation that you only purchase ultra high speed cables that carry a scannable cable certification label. You can see right there, our box has that label and it scans using the HDMI certification app, but weirdly it scans to a cable length of 15 meters. And I have to say, I looked on Amazon to see if any other customers had complained about this. And there are a few complaints in there that the labels are not scanning to the correct length. Now, our cable is 7.5 meters long and it should scan to that. It doesn't. Look, if you're purchasing this cable from a retailer like Amazon, you may consider returning it for another, uh, but I mean, ha this cable is scanning through to a longer version, which makes me a lot less concerned about something nefarious happening. Uh, and I think this is likely an honest mistake, but definitely something to note. Overall build quality on this active cable is quite nice. There are a couple of things worth noting about its physical measurements though. Uh, the plug heads aren't as wide as what we're used to seeing. Uh, that 19.5 millimeter measurement is about a millimeter less than most cable heads, but its overall length, which includes the plug head housing and the cable reinforcement where the cable enters the housing is about 10 to 15 millimeters longer than normal. So much less wide, but a lot longer. Now you might be wondering if this means that this Purify cable will give you a lot less wiggle room when it comes to situating a component like an AVR or a cable box close to a wall. And the surprising answer is actually no, the cable itself is insanely flexible. In fact, that static bend radius measurement you see right there of 12.3 millimeters, well, that is definitely tops for the tightest static bend radius measurement we've recorded on HDMI test bench. It is right there neck and neck with the THX cables we just reviewed. And that kind of flexibility allows you to plug this cable into a device and position it as close as 2.6 inches away from a wall without putting harmful pressure on the cable housing connection or your HDMI port. And that ranks right up there with the best cables we've tested. Other things to note about the cable's build qualities, uh, because this is an active cable, it's directional. So you need to be very careful to plug 
the source side into your component and the display side into your TV or projector. Uh, out of the box, Purify has the display side labeled with this yellow tag. And yes, you can remove that tag because each plug head has source and display printed on the cable head's housing. The print is really small though, and the font is in a light gray color, so make sure you have your glasses handy. Now, the sheath on the cable is an attractive white threaded weave. It appears to be cotton-like. I do not believe that this is PVC-based. It looks great. It feels really nice in the hands, but it's not entirely durable. I was able to easily nick it with a razor blade. Uh, so be careful pulling this cable through areas that have sharp edges or exposed areas that could catch on the sheath itself. I will say though that this cable's pliability and the fact that it easily lays flat even after it's bent make it super easy to handle which is highly desirable in my opinion and will allow for clean installations and easy cable management um, in terms of handling this is one of my favorite hdmi cables to date to test the cable we tap the power of meridio's 8k fox and hound test kit which is basically like a high level x-ray machine I mean, you've heard me talk about this before if you've watched other episodes it allows us to see exactly what kind of data the cable can pass so first here we enter the kit's cable test mode where i confirmed a solid 5 volt connection and its ability to pass 40 gigabits per second then we ask the kit to push through an 8k signal at 60 hertz 10-bit color with HDR10 and HDCP 2.2 engaged and all eight channels of audio included in there and it can do that too. I performed similar tests with various 4k and standard HD signals and found zero issues so on the test bench Meridio's AK Fox and Hound kit gives this cable a solid thumbs up. Now to real world testing where I tested the cable with a number of different 4k sources just to confirm its ability to hold a stable connection. And those included an Apple TV 4K player, a Kaleidoscape Strato C player, a Roku 4K streaming box, and a Panasonic UDP A24 K disc player. There you can see it playing Gemini Man in 4K 60 Hertz. And uh, yep, right there, there is our confirmation that it's pushing through exactly what we need. Uh, also worth mentioning that I tested hot plug scenarios and the cable didn't create any issues. So all good on that front. So taking all of this information into account, uh, including the fact that this label does not properly scan through uh, on the HDMI certification app, I'm hesitant to give this cable a full stamp of approval here on the test bench. Uh, I love the way this cable feels in the hands. It handles like a dream. Seriously, folks, if you're looking for something that will have a clean install or lay, say, along the edge of a wall and like a carpeted floor and have this lay flat, this cable is going to get it done. It also passes all of the performance tests that we uh, ask of it. So from that perspective, it's an A plus home run and uh, you know, price wise also, I would say definitely buy this and give it a shot. But in terms of giving it our full stamp of approval, I can't because this isn't scanning through. And that is the only thing about this cable that I don't like. I'll stick links to this cable down in the description below. If you want to give it a run and you'd like to support our channel, uh, you can purchase using those links. Uh, otherwise, check out our other review videos for a cable that will fit your needs best. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. Hope to see you over on the forum at avnirvana.com. And if not, I'll see you next time on HDMI Test Bench.